Alex Wodraska. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln High. You know! And this poem is called Yellow Paint. When I was little, my mother baked when she saw me cry. She always asked what was wrong, and I never told her that the scent of alcohol on her breath stung my nose, buried sour stench and pre-made batter, cookies placed on baking trays. I asked her if we could make them yellow, the color of my favorite markers bled dry from overuse, the color of my favorite construction paper, the color of my baby blanket, long worn, the color of safe habits and safe objects that keep me tethered to the innocence of childhood happiness. There's too much food coloring in the batter, but the cookies are still yellow. Yellow like my room, walls plastered with goldenrod wallpaper, thumbtacks pushed proudly through walls only to be ripped down in a fit of anger, sobs ripped through tight-sealed lips, honey that trickles into yellow silence. When I go to therapy, I wear yellow. Paint across bruised knuckles, yellow flowers pinned to hair, yellow sweaters with sleeves picking loose and tears staining fabric. It's not until my therapist points it out that I bury myself in honey sunshine, mask problems and pain and bad memories with color that outshines the sun, that yellow reveals itself as toxic. It is said that Van Gogh ate yellow paint to feel happy. But it seems to be forgotten that yellow paint is toxic poison. It's not pretty that a man painted his insides yellow so pain would not dig its claws into his skin, poison himself with the color of happiness to feel a semblance of life once lived. It's not romantic that I bury myself in yellow, distracted with romanticized warmth and light that masks dreary melancholy brimmed with sadness, tears streaking through yellow dandelion blush. I can't count how many times I've heard, everybody has their yellow paint, like yellow paint is happiness contained in a bottle labeled safety. And I swallow that as if it's the key to everything. Paint my insides yellow until my fingertips bleed gold and my heart pumps liquid metal through my veins. Follow in the footsteps of Van Gogh because everybody has their yellow paint. And maybe I take artistic liberty when I call yellow home that yellow are the blankets I cried myself to sleep in while my parents argued over if my mother was high or not or if she's drunk or not, that yellow is, that yellow are the blankets that I cried myself to sleep in. The only semblance that I broke being tears staining that blanket mustard. That blanket was protection and security and safety. Yellow is a safe color but it has never been happy.